what is going on guys it is your boy hills and welcome back to the coding cult today we're going to learn about web scraping and data manipulation using the go programming language our goal is to gather essential information about some well-known company stocks and analyze their data so without further ado let's code first we need to define a structure to hold our stock information a struct is a composite data type in Go that allows you to group together values of different types under the same name, essentially creating a custom data structure. This will hold the company, the price, the change, and will assign a CSV tag, and all three will be of type screen. Perfect. Now, we need to initialize a slice containing ticker symbols of various companies. The ticker symbols will be used to construct URLs for fetching specific companies' financial data from the Yahoo Finance website. Then we'll declare an empty slice to store the instances of the struct. This will hold our stock data. Now we'll use the Kali library to create a new collector. Collectors orchestrate the web scraping process. They can be used concurrently and in parallel. They can make it easy to register various callbacks and they come with built-in mechanisms for error handling. All right, moving forward, let's configure the common collector callbacks. This involves defining functions that the web scraping collector will automatically call in response to specific events. These callbacks act as hooks, enabling us to tailor the behavior of our web scraper to suit specific needs. So we'll say c.onRequest. This function registers a callback function that is executed before each request is made. In this case, the callback function will print the URL that, that's being visited. We'll say, we'll say r.url. Perfect. Then we'll say c.onError. This function registers a callback function that handles errors that may occur during the scraping process. In this case, the callback function logs the error message. Perfect. Something went wrong and we'll bring in the error. Now let's create the scrape stock data function. It fetches data, creates a copy of the collector to avoid sharing callbacks, and extracts relevant information. This function will hold three parameters. Stocks. Perfect. Let's bring this inside the function. And we'll say cc. So this line creates a clone of the original collector. Cloning is useful to isolate callbacks for each specific ticker symbol. It prevents shared state between different ticker symbol requests. For this next part, we'll use pieces. We'll say CC. There we go. So these lines helps us capture the relevant information from the web page and organize it neatly into our stock scrub. The web page contains HTML elements and we're using these lines to extract specific details we're interested in. So we're extracting and it's signing the main title, the stock price and the change in percentage from the web page to our company price and change fields. Then we say screens.trim space which removes leading and trailing white spaces from the extracted text. Then we print a message indicating that the data from a particular company has been fetched. We then append the newly scraped stock data to the stock slice. Okay, now let's keep coding. Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't checked out the last video, the AES encryption video, go check it out. It's on the page right now. Go run those views up. All right. Anyways, now let's create the URL for the provided ticker symbol. This URL was designed to retrieve financial information specifically for the company represented by the given ticker symbol from Yahoo Finance. Then we'll initiate a visit to the constructed URL using the clone collector. 
After that, we'll handle any error that occurs during the visit. Now let's bring this up. Then we'll see CC dot on HTML, which clears all callbacks associated with the clone collector to avoid callback accumulation. All right, moving on. Let's loop through our list of tickers. This means we're systematically going through our list of companies and using our scrape stock data function to fetch data for each one. The stock slice is getting filled up with data for every company. Now let's write stock data to the CSV file. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So let's attempt to create a new CSV file and we'll name it stocks.csv or open it if it already exists. We utilize the os.create function. If we, if we encounter any errors during this process, we'll trigger a log of fatal error message. Then we say file.close, but we're not closing the file right away. We're deferring the actions until the main job is done. You understand? Perfect. Looks good. Now let's set up a writer using csv.newwriter. It's like getting our old tools ready for the job. We're about to write our stock data to the stock file. Then we say, hold up, let me flush things out, meaning we're essentially making sure any buffered data we've got, like the stock information we just wrote, gets flushed or written to the actual file. Then we create the headers. Uh -huh, that's good, okay. Now let's set up the actual data rows for our stock information and write them to our CSV file. It's like saying, hey, take these headers and put them at the top of our CSV file so we know what is what. So we'll say. As well the company, the price, and the change. There we go. Looks good, looks good. All right, now let's iterate through the scrape stock data stored in the stock slice. For each stock, we create a row or a record with the company name, price, and change. Then we'll say writer.write, which writes the record to the CSV file. Last thing we have to do is print a message. So uh, we'll print a success message, letting us know that the stock data has been successfully written to the CSV file. So we'll say stock data successfully written to CS, stock CSV. Perfect. So uh, now that our code is complete, all we have to do now is open up the terminal, terminal and run run main.go then you'll see each company being fetched one by one after that a stock.csv file will pop up neatly holding our stock percentages for the companies it's like watching the results unfold before your eyes it's really cool stuff and guys honestly subscribe to the channel subscribe we're going to try to build this up i think i'm just at seven subscribers right now but i just started obviously uh it'll be great going like next year seeing this seven turn into thousands or, you know or maybe even more of that so please subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video and um 
yeah we're gonna do big things we're gonna work on big projects here we go there's this stock.csv file And here's the stock percentages for every company. We got Microsoft. We got everyone there, man. But yeah, like I was saying, subscribe. I'm your boy, Hilza. This is The Coding Code, and I hope you enjoyed. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you.